Fightin' Rage is a super stylized, hyper violent, ultra sexualized period piece inspired by retro beat em ups. And by inspired, I mean it's more faithful to the soul of the genre than any other title I've seen. It effortlessly evokes the ethereal, dreamy haze of 80s arcades, carrying the weight of its forebearers with full confidence, visually and mechanically. Fight and Rage's fearsome gameplay consists of your usual done unusually well. You've got a basic attack, throws, jump attacks, a variety of alternate moves performed via directional input, and a special meter. Any traditional beat-em-up knowledge translates well here. You still have to read the enemy's movements, swiftly plan attacks and counterattacks, and employ strategic aggression to sway the flow of battle in your favor. There are more complex combo and crowd control mechanics, but they feel like a natural extension of the core gameplay. All too often, modern beat-em-ups go straight for the throat with overblown character action combat, but Fight and Rage manages an often elusive balance of simplicity and depth. Of course, the mechanics would be meaningless without a method to explore them, so there's a veritable menagerie of multifaceted mooks to test your skills upon. The enemy types in this game are distinctive, to say the least. They have strong visual personality bolstered by unique combat eccentricities. The ninja will more often evade your blows and turn your grapples back on you. Wolves will lean back and pounce forward. Pigs will throw their weight around to interrupt your movement. Flies will appropriately annoy you by playing the range game, and so on. Each foe teaches the player about the design through interactivity. This is highlighted most prominently in boss battles, which force you to contend directly with the meta mechanics and their utilities. It's hard to pinpoint any particular flaw in Fight and Rage. It's a game founded on understanding and respect. It respects and understands its inspirations, it respects and understands the player, and it demands respect and understanding. It's both a loving homage and evolution of its storied genre.